Hello and welcome to the second episode of Diablo 4, the proper game now. We are back with our main character, the character we're actually going to be playing. Sarah, the Supreme Sorceress, who's going to be saving Sanctuary from the sinful succubus, Lilith. So last episode we journeyed with Bob and had to re-record everything. Um, but now we're in the main game. We've completed the prologue. And we are going to, I believe I may have said this episode, but well, last episode, but um, we're going to be doing the acts in order to get a horse, which is what I want to do. You have to complete all three of them. And I believe all three are like parallel stories, so it doesn't really matter which order, but we're here in Frozen Peaks. It's what we're familiar with. Um, so we are going to be doing cold tidings. I must seek out the Cathedral of Light and warn them of Lilith. Lorath suggested they make useful allies in our fight against the Daughter of Hatred. We are going to pick up some side quests. We're going to talk with Prava, and we're probably going to journey to uh, whatever city or town. You seem concerned. Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return from delivering our tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. It's all about the money. So we're going to be picking up some of the side quests, uh, just for some quick renown. So we'll kind of do them as they come. I tell you, my neighbor is bewitched. I saw him skulking outside my door, muttering curses. Right, right. This wouldn't have anything to do with the money, well, him, would it? So this is obviously kind of like a Eastern Europe slash Russia inspired like region. I believe each region has its own distinct like cultural inspiration. For a hundred generations, hell itself imprisoned Father Inarius, but they could not break him. So this is the he world here statue. We want to move shackles, to Nightmare so that we have to complete to the full story. And now he will guide Guard Boza. The faithful. Tell me of Kyovashad. Damn cold, isn't it? But at least we are safe. Beyond these walls. Darkness reigns. People are already in their early twenties when it comes to levels. A few, few people. I think a few people are in their like forties and even fifties. How fair is the city guard? The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise, but I can't let them see me as soft. Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits, and I get to go on being the hard ass. Everybody wins. So there are a few quests like I this that um, kind of encourage you to use the different cheers and stuff. So I believe it's E, and then we go left, and there is a cheer. Well done. <laughs> How inspirational, and look at that reaction, huh? I encourage the recruits. Thanks. I hope they don't get used to it. All right, we're back. <laughs> I had to do some stuff. And as you may have noticed, the uh, screen was all zoomed in for some reason. OBS keeps messing up, um, unfortunately. But this should be solved now. Let me just double check. Yep. All right, it's solved. <laughs> Hopefully, this is the last time I keep messing up this, um, this recording session. Kind of embarrassing that it's happening. We're going to continue with the main objective, the ill tidings, going to the cathedral and presenting the information we have gotten. Let's just Father talk, so. Inarius, bless the child that grows in my belly. Oh, glorious father, thank you. Your light has cleansed the disease from As my flesh. You can flesh. see they are quite I fanatically worshiping him, essentially glory. like a god. My brother told me you have to shield your eyes in the father's presence. Or his light will make you blind. That's why the night of the I wonder if there is a glyph here that will show the entire church. I doubt it. I'm not ready yet. It's a shame. Some of the monasteries they have like a glyph, and when you click on them, you get to see the entire building. Um, it would be cool to see the cathedral. Shame that you can't. We were born in sin, children of darkness but the father's light can be sought through penitence 
and face. Walk in the light. All right. So this, you may recognize or not, but Prava is actually the um, woman in the, I think, announcement. Not the announcement trailer, but the trailer that showed off the date. You know, like, Inarius is in hell fighting Lilith, and I think it's Prava that actually is the priestess or high priestess uh, walking in hell. We must be ever vigilant against sin, brother. Yes, Reverend Mother. Let the light of Inarius burn away wickedness. Let not temptation lead you from his holy radiance. Let righteousness sear away corruption and sin. Cast out thy darkness, for only light must remain. Cast out thine darkness, for only light must remain. Is this the one from the vest? Yes, Reverend Mother. Did Lorath not accompany you? He sent me on without him. Putting faith in that old man was a mistake. What could possibly be of greater import? Lilith. So, you know. Hmm. We have received word from one of our knights of a demon sighting in Gale Valley. The description matches too closely to the sighting in Neves. If you would travel to Yelesna, and take stock of events there. You would have the gratitude of the Cathedral of Light. I had thought to send Lorath, but... Again, he fails in his duty. With or without Lorath, the will of Inarius shall be done. Here, take the Knight's report before you go. So, okay, we cannot talk with her or Yosef. But yeah, I'm 99% sure that that is the woman in question. Reverend Mother, I received a report of a potential demon sighting. Horned woman near Yelesna Mines. Performed routine inspection, nothing yet. Sent in priest and escort of knights. We'll report in when we find something. So, we are going to journey to Yelsena. We have discussed this with uh, the River Mother. And as you may have noticed, this episode is coming out on Saturday. Um, that's the plan, anyway. So usually I post StarCraft videos on Saturdays, but I figured this is an early access game. Let's, let's um, play a little bit before the uh, full release comes out. Say, where are those girls of yours? Finally ran off to play night, have they? They left for Corvalar this morning. They'll have food, training, more than I can give them. So yeah, hopefully we'll be releasing an episode today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, in addition to the episodes on Monday and Tuesday. And also on Wednesday. So basically from Friday, yesterday, till next Friday, I'll be releasing an episode every day. And after that, we'll get to the regular schedule of... Uh, three times a week. Out of mana. Once again. So we're not going to go all too crazy with hunting things down. But we're also not going to stress about... Oh. No, Arclash is quite good. It's a bit funny. We're at level 6 now, and I'd imagine that there may be players who are in their 70s, maybe 80s at this point. I'm quite unsure. So we found a little quest here. Let's just take care of the bears. Priest Mateev says, I am ready. I shall leave Margrave at dawn. The journey will be long, but my faith is endless. Light grant me safe passage to the monastery, that I may better know your grace within its hallowed halls. So there we go. We found ourselves a quest. Um, we are not going to be doing these side quests yet. We'll be journeying to Yelsena. Maybe do an event if we find one, like the one right there. I lack the need 
effective mana. Come here, please. I'm gonna quickly uh, boost Chain Lightning. Oh, we just slaughtered that little mini boss there. Get here. I wonder how many enemies have to be slain. Come here, please. There we go. This was our first event for the campaign so far. Getting some murmuring obols. And a bunch of good equipments, actually. So obols, basically, we can use them to gamble for better equipment. I think the strategy will be to hoard them until we get, like, maybe 200 or so. And then try for, I don't know, a ring, perhaps, or an amulet might be good. And I think... We're going to rush Act 1 and then maybe do a few side quests along the way or afterwards and then continue with Act 2, do a few side quests, Act 3 and a few side quests. And by that point, we'll get the mount and then we'll do more uh, like side content. Agreed, Shrine. Kind of useless, honestly, at least at this point. If I had a bunch of like movement speed... Uh, Abilities like teleport, and I did loads and loads of damage. Maybe it would be useful, but the three gold that we're getting is almost nothing. Okay, we're not even gonna pick that up. It's kind of pointless. <laughs> so here we are, Yelsna or Yelsena. What kind of services do you provide? I provide a steady supply of, shall we say, specimens for the clergy nearby. However, their desire for knowledge has become more dangerous to satisfy. I require a host of intact ghoul hearts from the surrounding area. There's something special about the ravenous dead nearby. They can reanimate with only a few drops of blood. That's pretty cool. I'd venture out and retrieve these myself, but... I'm more accustomed to dealing with the fully dead. Your discretion is appreciated, of course. And you will be rewarded. I'm wondering if she's some kind of shady character who's just lying about what's happening. The knights are willing to teach us a few tricks, which have come in handy. So I guess that's just a guard, yeah. This damn cold chews me to my bones. Can't wait to get out of here. Getting a waypoint. So we are right now at almost 200 of the required renown. So quite a bit. We're also going to pick up the side quest here. From Yelsna I set out, or Yels Yelsena, I set out on my pilgrimage. I offer thanks at the roadside shrine and receive the blessing for my journey. Leave me alone. I'm off. Look, I didn't ask for this post, but as long as I'm here, I may as well make some money. Mm. Don't worry, I'll tithe. Is that so? We're going to sell off these equipment. Oh, he's not a vendor. The vendor is... Oh, we can't even sell it to them. I guess you have to go to an armor vendor. Not while I'm in town. I'm still kind of at a point where I want gold as well as equipment. I mean, like, uh, materials. What do you have to say? This is the magistrate. Uh, can't you see? I'm busy. Yes, the knights are not preferred, but they serve a purpose. One this town desperately needs. I'm guessing he's been given a lot of complaints by residents. So what do you have, Captain Anchors? What do you need? Prava sent me. I'm looking for Vigo. You and that nuisance of a child both. Girl's been nagging us about a demon woman all week. Vigo's gone, looking into her claims. 
He should be at the mining camp north of here. All escort of knights went missing there last week. Along with the girl's mother and another woman. Watch yourself out there. Hey, perfect. So, we're gonna... A demon woman has been sighted in the Gale Valley. A knight pennant named Vigo posted at the mines may know more. So we are gonna continue up there. I remember when there was a hanging only once in a while. How? They happen every week. A uh, bunch of people are being killed. Darkness encroaches on the light. Dull swords must be sharpened and armor polished. So I think we can maybe get there before the episode ends. That would be a good way to end the episode, actually. So let's try to make that a reality. It's one of those things where I don't quite remember how you get to different places. <laughs> You know what? We don't, we don't care. I should have picked that up, but whatever. <laughs> We're level 8. Getting a lot of skill points. We can actually get ourselves teleport. Really good. That will be useful. Strangers in the camp. I don't find the music amazing, but I do find it good. Here we have Vigo. We're going to be introduced to some more characters as well. Are you Vigo? I was sent. <coughs> know what I saw. She had horns like a beast. Strode right past where you stand. To think my mother's trapped in there with her. You let my mother through, sir. Shouldn't you be responsible for her safety? But, we have soldiers stationed inside. You should be worried about them, too. <clears throat> Maybe you can help me. Speak with Nerel. What brings you to Yelisena? My mother and I studied the Haradrim. We were onto something big. But then she ran off. It's not like her to abandon the hunt. The hunt? Why are the mines sealed off? Uh, mines are closed on church orders. They're not safe. Especially not for children. Ugh. I wonder how old she is. She looks to be like 14 or 15. Maybe a little bit older. Alright, we're gonna speak with Vigo. Did the quest change anything? Yeah, okay. The knight and the magpie. Guessing this is the magpie, huh? Reverend Mother Prava sent me. She did. The horned woman is the demon Lilith. <sighs> no, that can't be. My mother taught me that name. You speak of the daughter of hatred. Did Prava mention me? She wasn't angry, was she? There's more than your job at stake here. <sighs> Come on. Let's get this over with. I find it kind of humorous of her, like, turning around back and forth. <laughs> So we're going to do this, follow him to the ore hoist, and I think once we get down into the dungeon, we will... Oh look, there's a um, shrine right there. Okay. <sighs> the damn hoist is stuck. We've got to go on foot. Can we... Look out! Alright. mother's charm on your wrist hmm. it's mine now girl she gave it to me when i let her and her friend pass through 
Just bribed. <laughs> that protection shrine does nothing. Oh, never mind. There are some enemies here. Wow. Actually, we're not even going to pick those up. They are almost worthless. Corpse. So let's journey into the mines. The Knight and the Magpie. Keep Complete. close. So the Undertaking. With my new allies, Nerell and Vigo, I must venture in the condemned mines to pursue Lilith and Bernard, Nerell's mother. Maybe we should go back, round up the knights. And leave my mother in Lilith's care for as long as that will take? No. I'm going on. So, I think this is going to be a good ending point for the second episode. Once again, I apologize for the kind of zoomed in view of the first few minutes, but unfortunately, it's kind of the way things go sometimes. Um, next episode, we will be finishing the... Wait, did we finish the quest? Yeah, it's, it's green check mark. It's kind of weird. We are going to be chasing down Venard. I think it will maybe take one extra episode before we actually get to her. So tomorrow, getting to her and on Monday, actually, well, defeating the second boss. So uh, join us for that. And if you're interested in uh, more Diablo content, I will be releasing a lot this week. So please do subscribe. All right. Take care.